What is up guys and welcome to my world. Guess what? We're going to start off talking about Libya. I know, I know you're like, why are you going to talk about Libya? What, what does that matter to you? Well, America is a bunch of bullies and we're getting ourselves involved in another like civil war that we really don't need to get involved in because all we're going to do is piss a bunch of people off, but we're still going to do it. So let's talk about that. So if you guys aren't up to date with the whole thing going on in Libya, basically this asshole Gaddafi, you know, he's like, yo, people who are uprising, stop it or I'm going to smack you, ho. And they ain't stopping. So they keep fighting, you know, and it looked like it was about to end. It looked like Gaddafi was basically about to win his little civil war. And then America's like, hold up, Gaddafi, we don't like that, you stupid looking Mexican. So we're going to beat you up. So now... Now America gets involved. And what's happening for the most part, guys, is basically, you know, America, they shot some missiles, they hit some troops, uh, they took out some aerial defense things that Gaddafi had set up. Nothing really too big, but they, they it, okay, it's big. They shot missiles at Gaddafi's troops. That's, that's pretty big. That's like, yo, what the fuck, America? Why are you shooting at me, dog? Sorry, I, I missed. I was aiming for you, 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 not your troops, you, Gaddafi. But I am sorry. I don't. I don't get it. I really just don't get it. Why does America got to get involved in everyone else's shit? Like, hey, we're going to play referee, and then we end up getting involved. Like, I don't mind the referee stuff. You can go in there and call technical fouls, but don't fucking, like, put on a jersey and start playing. Like, you're a 60-year-old man. You don't need to be doing that kind of stuff. Probably not the best for you. I don't know why I'm referring it to a 60-year-old man. I guess that's because that is usually who refed my basketball games when I was... When I was playing basketball, I can't really say when I was young, because I am young. Okay guys, so this is a new segment I like to call the Twit Pick of the Day. Now I know what you're thinking, why are you doing a new segment? You already got Song of the Day, you got like your movie referral of the week, and now you're going to have a Twit Pick of the Day, you fucking idiot. Why, why are you so awesome? I'm just, I don't know where I'm going with that. But the Twit Pick of the Day, guys, is, ah, it is this. These girls with their dildos and their shake weights, and they put the dildos on the shake weights. Just another reason why women, you guys are just not getting ahead in life. I'm, I'm just kidding. Don't take that in offense, women. You know it's a joke. But in all seriousness, like, really? Really? You can't put a dildo on your stupid ass, your stupid ass shake weight. All right. You found some kind of purpose for it. Next, I want to see guys. Guys are going to start putting fleshlights on them. You know, they got to attach the fleshlight on top and just get them up and down. I don't know. That is that is horrible. Hey guys, so it's the song of the day and uh, if you guys can't tell, it's playing in the background. Yeah. Awesome. It's uh, Chris Brown featuring Buster Rhymes and Lil Wayne. Look at me now. I, I don't know why. I've just been I've been on this song all day. I just listening to it. If you've actually seen that music video, it's kind of funny. Uh, especially Buster Rhymes because when he's rapping really fast, his eyes pop out and it's all crazy. So I would say go check that out. Link will be down below if you want to if you want to listen to it, and you, you're, you're liking what you're hearing. Yeah, coming, and I can't rap that fast because Busta Rhymes crazy, crazy ass fast rapper and shit. Damn, he's fast. I know, guys, the video is basically over, and you're like, why? No! Why is the video always over? It's, it's okay. I understand. Don't worry. There will be another one. I'm sorry about no video yesterday, guys. I took a little break because, you know, I was doing a lot of consecutive ones. I thought I should maybe take a breather for a little bit and let you guys cool down. But, um, all right, so if you guys want to, I know you're probably thinking, how do I, how do I send in that twit pic? All you got to do is you just got to go follow me on my Twitter account, Mr. Reiner's World. You don't even have to follow me, actually. You can just go at mention Mr. Reiner's World and just be like, yo, ho, I like you. Here's a picture. Laugh out loud. LOL. Smiley face. Text lingo. Because that's cool. Yeah. And I will take a look at it, and if I like it, I will definitely put it in the video, and I'll put it up there, and you guys can let me know if you like that section in a comment below. I love you guys. Okay, and I forgot one final thing. I'm sorry. Don't beat me. Don't beat me, mommy. I'm just, that's fucked up. All right, I got to give shout-outs to my friend Lewis in Canada, Kelsey in Canada. You guys, you two, both awesome. Caitlin Clark, Sarah's sister, I love you. You're awesome, too. Steve, you're my boy, Steve. Impact. I love you. You at mentioned me on Twitter, you ho. And I don't know why I said that like like I was a black guy. That's racist. Not really. Don't take that racist. If you thought that was racist, you're fucking racist. And and am I forgetting anybody? Austin. Austin. I didn't forget you, babe. I didn't. I love you. Bye, guys. And good night. Rub your nipple on my face. That doesn't make any sense, but it'll put a smile on my face. That's That's creepy. Yes.